Julia, look. I can make a spoon balance on my nose. Well, I can make a spoon and a fork defy gravity. Today, we're gonna balance a fork and a spoon on the edge of a glass using only a toothpick. It sounds crazy, I know, but the trick here is understanding the center of gravity. The center of gravity is the average location of the weight of an object. It's the point at which an object balances from left to right, front and back, top and bottom. So to do this gravity-defying trick, here's what you'll need. A fork, a spoon, a toothpick, a glass, and a lighter. So you gotta start by putting the fork and spoon together. I'll let Julia take care of that. Place the utensils on your finger to find the middle point. This is where the toothpick should be inserted between the utensils. Okay, let me see if I can balance this bad boy. Oh no! Perfect! <laughs> Nailed it! Oop, oop. There we go. Okay. Hey! So the balancing part's kind of hard. Harder than it looks. <laughs> but once you get that, then comes the fun part. You're gonna burn the end of the toothpick, and what's gonna happen is it's gonna stay there. Don't knock it down. It took so long to get it up. And so now it's just hanging out, balancing on the edge of a glass. So within this trick, the center of gravity is directly below where the toothpick rests on the rim of the glass. So if you take a closer look, you'll see the utensil handles are positioned below the toothpick. So the center of gravity where the utensils balance is actually hanging in midair. So the fork handles and the spoon handles are used by the toothpick much like you would use your arms when you try and balance. When we use our arms to balance, we lower our center of gravity. The toothpick is actually using the rotational inertia of the forks to stay balanced. Rotational inertia is an object's resistance to change in its rotation. You might remember from physics class, inertia is an object in motion tends to stay in motion, an object at rest tends to stay at rest. This applies to rotation too. Rotational inertia keeps things from starting to rotate and fall off the glass. Because of the fork's resistance to that change in motion, the toothpick stays centered rather than falling into the glass or falling onto the table. Applying these principles to the human body should be just as easy. Maybe. Let's find out. <laughs> so let's see if those same principles apply to the human body. The physics for utensils and toothpicks still work even when scaled up for a human on a tightrope. A person's arms or the balance pole are like the forks and the body is like the toothpick. Gravity pulls down on the pole and helps the walker lower their center of gravity even further by distributing the weight laterally. This is also why it's easier to walk on a balance beam with your arms out. Your arms are lowering your center of gravity and spreading your mass out to increase your rotational inertia. This creates time for you to make adjustments before falling. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> you have that on camera. Nice job. Oh. I know falling sucks, but. Yeah, it was a little harder than I expected, but you know what makes life a little easier? Intel. Intel creates breakthrough technologies that make amazing experiences possible. Having Intel inside makes for better experiences outside. Intel drives innovation with products like processors, wearables, and IoT devices, and within data centers, in the PC and beyond. Thanks everybody for watching DNews Labs today. Let us know down in the comments what experiments you would like to see us do in the future. Maybe we'll do one of your ideas. And don't forget to like and subscribe to DNews so you get more science every single day. See you next time. I'm gonna get a bruise now. Yeah, it'll be so pretty. Ouch.